not so much like look at me be inspired. I think it's when I'm able to share a skill or see, see, it, see it come to fruition in someone else. You know, I'm missing two legs, you know, I have a pretty cool story, so it's really easy for people to go, oh, look at her. But to be able to go, oh my God, look at what, what, I, what they can do. Look at what these people have done. Like, how everyone's come together, I think that's what makes me happy. I'm actually a relatively new amputee. I lost my leg about eight and a half months ago. So when you're a new amputee, you're kind of trying to find what sport works best for you. Don't let the term sitting confuse you. There is a lot of upper body uh, movement you have to do. Working with someone like Carrie, who's a pro at it, it's just been a lot of fun, a fun little learning experience. I've been coached by her previous to this. My, um, for Team USA for uh, on, the, on the para level, and she's a great coach. And I found out that she's running the program here. Um, I came showed uh, showed up in support. Hi, I'm Carrie Miller Ortiz. Welcome to the Metropolitan Multi Service Center. The way the accident happened. I was off duty having come back from being deployed out in Korea. Um, and this is around the holidays, so Christmas and everything. And I had heard that I had enough credits to go to officer candidate school, because that's, that's really what I wanted to be, like an officer. I was out celebrating with some friends that I met, because I used to be a bartender, so I knew like basically everybody in DC. Afterwards, we decided to go to IHOP. So we're riding and on our way to IHOP, and then um, we were hit going 80 miles an hour by a drunk driver. I don't really remember the actual collision, right? I remember feeling like a car, like this weird sensation of going sideways. And then I remember waking up and feeling like I was squished. I'm coming in and out of consciousness and, you know, I'm like, man, I just want to get out of here. And then I come to again and I look up and there's a, a guy, he's sitting in the, uh, on the roof of the car. And I was like, man, you know, just, just get me out of here, man. I just, you know, you know, if whatever, whatever you have to do, you know, if you have to cut off my legs, I'll forgive you. You can feel yourself kind of slipping away, like, you know, you're getting weaker, or whatever. And there was a moment in time where I was kind of like sitting there and I'm kind of going down. I was like, it's just easier just to relax into it than to keep fighting. All of a sudden, like, my mom's face flashed before my eyes and her face looked like so broken and hurt. And I was like, oh no, I can't do this. Let me keep, uh, whatever it is, I'm just gonna keep fighting. me started almost immediately. Um, I was at the National Rehab Hospital um, in DC and my mom brought her friend in to see me. And so he came in and he was in a wheelchair. And he was like, hey, why don't you come try wheelchair basketball? And I was like, those are for people who were in wheelchairs. I'm gonna be walking. I don't wanna make them feel bad, right? Boy, was I wrong. Like I got out there and this little girl hurt my feelings, but it, you know, it totally made me wanna just get out and learn how to play and get good just so I can go back and make that little girl cry. Like that was, it's whatever motivates you, right? So sports at a high level is wheelchair basketball and sitting volleyball are my two high level sports. I love rowing, like I think that's gonna be my next adventure, rowing and I love archery. I participated in, three, well actually I participated in four, four Paralympic games. When I played I won the silver medal in Beijing the silver medal in London, and then finally the gold in Rio. Hence the retirement. Like, where are you gonna go after gold? <laughs> and that's when he's gonna slide in. Okay. And then what got me um, into coaching and working with other ad uh, um, adaptive athletes was a friend of mine, uh, John Register, and then um, Roger Nepel. They worked for the U.S. Uh, Paralympic Committee. And they were like, Harry, you know what? <laughs> you are, you know, you're a veteran, you know, you're into these sports or whatever, you'll be able to help a lot of people. And I was like, cool, just tell me what I need to do, right? We ended up starting the Paralympic military program out at Walter Reed in Bethesda, where we would bring in, um, bring, have veterans who were in the hospital and introduce them, who would bring in like rowing and volleyball and all of those different sports and bring it to them. So I think that that was a great experience for those who were in, you know, in the hospitals. I am the director of people and culture at Move United, so I'm here to, I do a little bit of everything. I do a little bit of recruiting, I do a little bit of human resources, I do diversity, equity, and inclusion. It, what our main mission is, though, is to make sure that um, within 50 miles of every American in the, in the United States, that there's an opportunity to have an adaptive sports experience. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Insperity Inspiration Award recipient, Sergeant Carrie Miller Ortiz. I tru truly felt like the, a princess for that Inspirity Award. Like, I'm so grateful for that opportunity to be there. I got to wear my little frilly dress. 
Like it was just like the, the and like all of these superstars. I got to meet the other Olympians and Paralympians and hang out because we don't really get to hang out or anything here, you know. And so to be able to hang out with them and take pictures and talk and laugh, like it was just a great, great experience. One of the things that people always ask me is like, what are you, what is your crowning moments? Like, what are the things that you're most proud of? And it's not the medals, it's not, I mean, like, I, I think it was really cool and it was a great experience and I fought hard to get to where I was. But I think that the things that made me most proud was being able to give back to, you know, fellow veterans and people like myself. Um, being able to, you know, we don't know what life's gonna leave, but that legacy of empowering other people to be able to, you know, get out of bed. Seeing other people succeed, seeing other people grow, and the, like the happiness and joy, because this is something I'm giving you that you'll never lose. Like it's something that you know you can then pass on to other people, and that's something I give. It's a legacy, right?